Um, so, so when we think about um, where we're at now, it's about um, trying to move to a different, different type of organization in IT. We want to become more fused, we want to become more relevant, more legitimate, you know, as we talked about earlier. Um, what would be three pieces of advice you'd give to people walking away from you and say, I've, I heard a lot of stuff, it resonates with what I'm thinking, I want to go back and do something. What can they do tomorrow? So, so uh, in making this shift happen, which, um, which I believe is, is, is fundamentally what we want everybody to leave here with, is that you can make the shift happen. The first, you know, the first step is you have to make that choice. You have to make the same choice that Bob Kraft did when he bought the Patriots. You have to make the same choice that JFK made when he said, we're going to go to the moon. Um, you have to choose to be better fused or, or to have fusion as a goal for your IT organization with the business. The second thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you and your, your IT organization know what business you're in. Are you in the, the consumer products and goods business? Are you in IT? Are you in you know, toys? Are you, you know, what business are you truly in? And you have to have a concerted interest in being in that business and know what that business is. What is it about my company? What is the market? You know, wh who are the competitors? And, and, and what are the problems that are, are facing this industry? And then the third thing is I think you really need to look at creative ways to address the run in a stable, um, you know, foundational platform kind of way that's very repeatable, such that you can shift some of the investment in time, energy, and money that you're spending on running now over to more of the, the, the growth and transformational, you know, type of, type of focus. Okay. Um, when we think about the challenges that we're faced here, what do you think anyone in this audience, the number one or two challenges they would have trying to shift to more of a fused model. They'd have to overcome immediately. Well, I think, you know, the, the, you, you said the first one earlier, and that's you're going to have those guys in the back room that, you know, they, they, they're the guys, that those, they're the people at the cocktail party that when you meet them for the first time, you know, even though they work for a toy company, they say, I'm a DBA. You know, you know I, I work in IT. So um, you have to, you know, find a way to appeal to those people, everybody within your organization, that you have a common purpose, that common purpose you know, is the business. And um, there are things that can be done such as, you know, change the definition of heroism. Make sure that you're very good at, at encouraging, you know, we, we, in our leadership trainings, you know, encourage the heart. Create that shared vision for success for the business and recognize that. We want to talk about a tactical way to do that. Change compensation plans in mm -hmm. such a way that you reward somebody for business success, not just for IT metrics. If somebody's day-to-day -day business, you know, their job description is purely about IT metrics, then they're not connected to the business. So I'm not saying there aren't IT things that should be in a job description specific to what that person's responsibilities are. But what about the business responsibility that they have? Change the job description. Change, you know, change some level of their, their review and, and, and their compensation model to things that are more tied to the business. Okay. The, um I came across, I was doing some research as we were putting this um, session together, and I was, I was looking at challenges that IT is facing now, kind of thing, was the, the query I was looking at. And I came across three articles that I thought were really, really interested in. And all three articles talked about the challenges of becoming more business focused in IT. And so they went out, and all three articles, they conducted their own surveys, and they found that they, the amount of business knowledge in IT is increasing. People are starting to get more, uh, more accustomed to the business language. They're starting to reach out and they're being forced to, in some cases, to work with the business more. But the funny thing, all three articles that I came across ended with a statement that was much along this line. And so then why doesn't the business come to us to help solve business problems? If we're more, if we know and we have that business savvy. And that was an IT publication, I'm assuming, right? All three of them were yeah. you know, more IT focused. Right. 